Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. <clears throat> During the promulgation of the 1995 Constitution, there are soldiers in parliament representing the UPDF. Three of them, General David Tinyefuza, late Lieutenant Colonel Serwanga Rwanga, Colonel Dr. Kiza Wesji, gave their opinion on the return of parties. The commander in chief wrote, and I still have a copy, guiding that uh, military people should actually be listening posts. They should not say anything because uh, they can cause the country problem. Mr. Speaker, there is a case in the High Court against uh, General Mukaiugawa getting involved in partisan politics. Yet his father guided Kiriare that military people can only so general where they should never say anything here, you just listen and go home. Mr. Speaker, I seek guidance from you. The matter of uh, General Moz Kainerugawa addressing rallies, supporters addressing rallies is a matter now before a court. But there were also Please, Honorable colleague, please. I don't know why the Honorable Nandutu is boiling. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the, the guidance I seek from you, I have seen the reports in the main in the social media of you, our leader, conversing support and even thanking the people for being there for a military officer Mozka in Rugawa, who is before a court for violating the constitution and the guidance given by the commander in chief. In fact, if you recall, when uh, former army commander General JJ Odong was appointed the minister, this parliament refused to approve him for more than two months. Eventually, that changed. If it didn't, General Katumba Amara would never have been a minister, but the constitution was uh, thrown just like that. So, the, the point, Mr. Speaker. Whether you are aware that there is a, a case in because I fear I don't want to see my speaker being dragged to court as a witness that is part of the MK who are violating the constitution as a, it is being saturating in the in, 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 in the social media that the speaker not only is a member of MK but is conversing support for a serving military officer. So I thought, Mr. Speaker, as our leader, we have a duty to defend you. That's why I was offended when the honorable Openg was attacking you because the barrier is not a sitting of parliament that the speaker must leave last. I was offended. Thank you. Now, uh, 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 honorable colleagues, when you occupy our offices, you must have a thick skin. Yeah, all things come and you rough them off and you go on. That's how we survive. Otherwise, you start swallowing a panadol. Over, over comments <laughs> for nothing. So these are things we are used to. They come and go. But on a very, very um, issue which Honorable Semujo, my brother, has raised. Um, number one, I never attended any event where my brother Mohoski Nerugaba attended and addressed the gathering. That's number one. Number two, my youth, the youth from my district who are my voters, had what they call a baraza. Okay? And uh, part of that baraza was also to appreciate their friend. There was no declaration of anyone that he, uh, the youth of Mitoma have resolved his going into politics. There was no declaration on anything. It was a baraza. People had football. People had the bicycle competition. People were happy. 
And people are excited over one of their fellow young people and they see a bright feature in him. Now, who am I to start judging them? These are my voters. No, to me, it's very honest, you know? So uh, 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 to me, I really do believe uh, that Honorable Semuju, in case I'm choosing, will be the first person to defend me for attending because I never committed any crime. <laughs>